Hello, my name is Sierra Meira. I have been studying English for two years. And I tell you something, I love studying English, but I make so many mistakes. <laughs> this video is about how I learned the present perfect with for and since. Check it out, it's great. I hope you learn a lot. Kabul! Yaramir is in the pub, looking forward to a lovely cold beer. It's three o'clock and Mr. Villain is walking to the pub to meet young Yaramir. Question, sir. To the pub! Okay, 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 okay. After this. It's eight o'clock and a tired Mr. Villain arrives in the pub. I wait here since five hours. I wait here since five hours. I wait here since five hours. It's a mistake. No! No, Yaramir! That's a mistake! That's a mistake! What's it going to be, Yaramir? Explain! Or explain! Explain! Or explain! Or explain! Or explain! But I fear the Reaper! Can I have explain, please? Yaramir, you chose explain. That's great. Hello, I'm Mr. Stephen Crane. And I'm Mr. Ian. Yaramir, you've made a mistake. And we're here to help. You see, the problem you have is called the present. Perfect. Thanks, Mr. Ian. I try to be perfect. And I try to be present? 
Jeremy, we need to talk about the present perfect. Which is a whole new way of thinking about the past. And the present. It brings the past and the present together in a huge, beautiful... Oh yes! Kaboom! Kaboom! This is no. Kaboom. I think an explosion is a bad idea. The present perfect is a slow, boring joining of the past to the present. Well, I prefer an explosion. But if we take the past and join it to the present. And there's the present perfect, gently joining the past to the present. So how did Yaramir get it so wrong? Well, he said, I wait here since five hours. Sounds like a bit of a mess. Well, it is. And, uh, and the solution is really simple. What he's trying to say is that he arrived in the pub at... Three o'clock. Then he waited for Mr. Villain Mr. Villain arrived at... Eight o'clock? So, how long is that? Just a minute. It's not that difficult. I'm an English teacher, not a maths teacher. Ah! Five hours! Good. Five hours of waiting. So, he started waiting in the past, and he continued waiting up to the present. So, Yaramir should say... I have been waiting. And the time you calculated? Five hours. For five hours. I have been waiting for five hours. He doesn't seem very happy about that. Well, it's a long time to have been waiting. That's what the present perfect is for. It answers the question, how long have you done? Or, how long have you been doing something? But why are there two possibilities? Well. One is called the present perfect simple. I have lived in Yichin for my whole life. And we can also use the present perfect continuous. I have been teaching English for 10 years. So what's the difference, Mr. Stephen Crane? There's very little difference between the meaning of the two, but with the present perfect continuous, there is a sense of that this is temporary or that this is a short term idea. I've been staying in this hotel for two weeks. Exactly. Staying in a hotel is a short-term or temporary thing. I have lived here since 2008. Yeah. This is a more permanent idea. You like it, you're going to stay here. Now there are also state verbs. I have known you since 2000 when I met you at that New Year's Eve party. Yes, I remember it well. Not sure I do. Now, to know is a state verb and it doesn't move and it isn't used in the present perfect continuous. So, I have known you since 2008. Never, I have been knowing you since 2008. I'll let you in on a little secret. Go on, I love secrets. If an English native speaker can, they will try to use the present perfect continuous. Wow, how long have they been doing that? for a very long time. Now, Mr. Stephen Crane, for and since, how do they work? You know how you're an English teacher? I'm not a maths teacher. I hate maths. Well, don't use for then. But why is it complicated? Yeah, it can be. What you do is you take the time it started, I started running at three o'clock. What's the time now? It's five minutes past three. Are you still running? Yes. Three o'clock, five minutes past three. What's the difference? Just a minute. Look, you don't need a calculator. You've been running for five minutes. Can I stop now? Yeah. <laughs> so four is used for a period of time for five minutes, for five hours, for a year, for your whole life, for a period of time. Sounds complicated. Well, if you don't want to do the maths, you since. Cool, that sounds much easier. It is. 
When did you start teaching? May the 4th, 2003. So how long have you been teaching? For a long time. Yes. Or since... Oh yes, since 2003. That's easy. Exactly. With since, we use the point when the activity began. Since this morning, since five o'clock, since I was born. And let the other person do the mathematics. That's great. But can I read my magazine now? It's got present perfect in it. Why can't you read Shakespeare? But this is more modern than Shakespeare. Modern love. It's Wednesday afternoon after school, and Sandy and Cindy are in the park. Wow! That was a great English lesson! Yeah! Mr Stephen Crane really knows his grammar! Yeah! He's been teaching us now for six months, and I know a lot more! Hmm... Hmm, sorry. I can't concentrate today. Why not? Well... It's a secret! Go on, tell me! Okay. If you promise not to tell... Cross my heart! Okay. Well, I've been seeing this boy! Wow! How long for? I've been seeing him since January. For two months. Well, that's interesting, because I've been keeping a secret too. What is it? Well, I've been seeing a boy for two months as well. Really? What's he like? Well, he's quite creamy. Has he got a car? Yes. It's quite new, I think. He has had it for three weeks. Wow! My boyfriend's had his car for three weeks as well. Amazing! He has only lived here since Christmas, so he doesn't know many people. My boyfriend moved here on the 25th of December and has lived here since then. So, for three months? Yes. Anyway, I would love to meet him. Well, you're going to. I have to meet him here. Great! My boyfriend is coming here too. Maybe they'll be friends. He wants to tell me something important. In fact, fact here, here he is, is now. now! What? But, but that's, that's my boyfriend. boyfriend! We've been going, going out with, with the same boy! Hi, ladies. So, Yaramir, do you want the soft, fluffy ending or the realistic, hard ending? Can I have the soft, fluffy ending, please? Oh, Yaramir, the soft, fluffy ending is so right on. But here you go. <laughs> we shouldn't fight. Yes, we have been best friends for 10 years. Yeah, best friends forever. Let's have the more realistic, interesting ending. Hmm. Okay, why not? I love you, Sandy. I have been waiting for this moment for my whole life. Stop! Grammar time! The present perfect simple is formed using have or has plus the third form or past participle of the verb. I have known you since 2000. The present perfect continuous is formed using have or has plus been and the continuous or ing form of the verb. I have been seeing that boy. For is used to indicate the length of an activity. I have had my car for two months. 
since shows the point in the past when the activity began. I have been running since 3 o'clock. Thanks guys, that's great. I have been waiting here for 5 hours. I have been waiting here for 5 hours. I have been waiting here for 5 hours. Oh jeez. What? <laughs> Kidding? <laughs> I've been waiting for that beer. I have been waiting here for five hours. I have been waiting here for five hours. I have been waiting here for five hours. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>